Hi, this is Chef Inspire. I'm here today to talk to you about our body's three brains. Now you're saying, hey, Chef, what are you talking about? Our body us only have one brain. But I beg to differ. There are actually three brains that are in our bodies. And all of them contribute to our health and our well-being. Let me explain the first brain. Brain number one is our head brain. This is a three to five pound mass of cells that are located that is located inside of our head inside of our skulls this brain is the brain that helps us to maintain our bodily functions this brain is also called the thinking brain the thinking brain Inside of this brain, there is the conscious brain and the subconscious brain. The conscious brain acts as our creativity center. It feeds the subconscious brain. Now our subconscious brain is what they call the recorder, the recorder brain. And what I mean by recorder brain is the part of our brain that just records information that is handed to it by our conscious brain. So these two brains working together make up who we are and it creates inside of us a powerful system that is inside of our body. With this brain, we can analyze, deduct, do math problems, do strategic planning, and anything that is that will help us to process information. Brain number two is located in our chest. Now, what are you saying, Chef? Is there a brain inside of my chest? Yes, there is. Our heart actually has 40,000 brain cells. You heard what I said, 40,000 brain cells in our heart. So our heart acts as the second brain. Our heart brain's function is like this. It actually creates, it is the strongest magnetic organ in our body with powerful electrical currents that flow through it on a regular basis. Our brain actually produces its own electromagnetic field that can expand out six feet or more in, in any direction. Our brain has the capacity, our heart brain has the capacity of gathering information outside of ourselves by feeling who we are, by feeling and gathering information and feeding that information to our head brain. And our head brain tells our body to react. Walking into a room of people that you have never met our heart brain has the capacity to analyze the people in the room by feeling the energy that is coming from them so that 
you can actually say or feel whether or not the people in the room are for you or against you, whether the people in the room are a match to you vibrationally or even physically. This heart brain can tell you whether or not these people or the people that are in that room will be somebody you can get along with or you can't. Have you ever met someone and for the first time didn't know anything about him but said to yourself, I don't like that person or that person's energy is not uh, a match with mine. So it's instant dislike. And then you met another person, which you started talking to them and all of a sudden it seemed like you knew them all your life. This is our heart brain at work. And once we learn how to tell the difference of the, the voices between our head brain and our heart brain, we could pretty much navigate through our lives with ease. Our heart brain is something, these are things that we're not taught in our regular schools. We're not taught that we have powerful magnetic abilities to draw people, situations and circumstances in our lives through our heart brain. But I come to tell you that this is becoming widely accepted in the medical field. Our third brain now our third brain works like this. Our br third brain is what they call our microbiome brain. Okay, Herb, come on, explain that to me. A microbiome brain is the gut brain, the intestinal brain the brain that is made up of millions, maybe even trillions of individual bacteria that live and resides with inside of us. We are in all actuality 90% bacteria and other microorganisms. Only 10% of us is truly human DNA. The rest of it is these organisms that reside with inside of our body, with inside of our gut, primarily in our gut. This gut brain, our microbiome brain, influences us in many, many different ways. This gut brain actually contributes to our overall health. When they say you are what you eat, your gut brain is the part of you that breaks down all of your food, digests it, and then puts it into the areas in your body that is needed. When you pay attention to your gut brain and feed it the right fuel your gut brain can make you live a strong and powerful and healthy life. Our gut brain also have the ability to make us vitally sick, tremendously sick. When the balance, when the microbiome balance is not right, what can happen is we can get too much bad bacteria growing and 
the bad bacteria will determine how we feel, how we act. Our society has also started to give us things like antibiotics. Now, antibiotics kill all of our gut bacteria. They just wipe them out. And without the proper gut bacteria, our body will not be able to function properly. It will be functioning handicap. Our functioning not at full strength. We can actually recolonize our gut bacteria by putting in what they call probiotics. If we take probiotics on a regular basis and eat the right foods, because anytime you eat a lot of sugary, sweet things, you get this rush of endorphins. It's almost like a cocaine rush. And that's because you are feeding the bad bacteria what it wants. And eventually, as that bad bacteria starts to multiply, it will control your cravings. It will control the things that you eat on a regular basis. It will make you feel totally, totally uncomfortable until you give it what it desires. This is the power of that gut brain. We are not even choosing the food that we want. The gut bacteria is choosing the food, making us crave. And then what we do is we just feed that bacteria. If it craves sugar, you, and once you give it sugar, it also lets off endorphins which are feel-good chemicals that make you feel good as well as making the bacteria feel good also. This gut brain is very very important to us. What will happen is we will cause ourselves to have a flourishing microbiome with inside of our intestines in turn cause us to have a healthy and stable gut brain which will cause us to prosper and live long and healthy lives. So these three brains, our head brain, which controls our thinking and our bodily functions, our heart brain that feels and gives us information that we gather from our electromagnetic field that it generates six feet in all directions in our gut brain, the one that keeps our body healthy and strong and the one that if we keep in balance with good bacteria, we will live a strong and powerful and healthy life. And that gut bacteria, if you get it under control, you will be in control, not it. Just imagine a colony of alien entities controlling your life. This is what the microbiome is like. I know this stuff is kind of deep, but it is essential for us to understand who we are. This container that we live in, which is called the body, is not who we are. We are actually a spiritual being having a physical experience. Our body is a suit that we have put on so that we can navigate through this earth realm. 
So once we learn this and understand it, then we can navigate. Not only navigate through our senses, but we can navigate through our bodies to become powerful, wonderful, sensitive beings that is, that is able to do miraculous things. There will be nothing impossible for us once we learn who we are and start to operate in the fullness of who we are. This is Chef Inspire saying, I hope you get this. I hope you got it. I know I laid down some, some really powerful information, but take this information. Use it. Understand who you are and the power that you possess. And there is nothing that you cannot accomplish. I hope you get it. I hope you got it. Good. Have a blessed day.